Hello students, welcome once again to my channel. Now in this section, we are going to look at the BEC 2024 science practical questions. Now, um, in this section, they were given longitudinal section of a mammalian art. So now let's look at the questions that follows. But then the first question says that state one function of each of the following labels I, 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 S, and X. Now, before we can be able to state the function, we need to know what the following parts are. So first of all, let's start by labeling each and every part that we see over there. So I here is the outer. We call it the outer. And then we have um, I, I here being the pulmonary. So we have this to be the pulmonary, the pulmonary vein. That is I, I. Now, I, I, I is what we call the left atrium. I, V is the bicuspid. Call it the bicuspid valve. We have V here to be the left ventricle. So, the left ventricle. And then we have um, V, I, B, A. VI being the right ventricle, right ventricle. We have VII here being what we call the tricuspid, the tricuspid valve, valve, yeah. We have VII be what we call the inferior vena cava. So the inferior vena cava. And then we have the IX here being the what we call the superior it becomes the superior vena cava and then we have x here being the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery okay so now since we know the parts now now let's look at the function of each of the following now i is what we call the outer now what is the function of the outer now the outer here what it does is that it carries oxygenated blood to all parts of the body from the heart. So you realize that this this side here, everything here is from is coming outside here from the lungs. So like every part here is from the lungs, and this part here, every part here is from the blood blood from the heart so what the outer does here is that it carries oxygenated blood so let's write it it carries it carries oxygenated oxygenated blood to all parts of the to all parts of the body all parts of the body from so clearly from the heart right except the lungs of course now i i is called the pulmonary vein now what is the function of the pulmonary vein so the function of the pulmonary vein over here is that it also carries the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart so it carries it from the lungs here all the way to the left atrium the left of germ of the heart so let's say it carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to all from the lungs to the left to the left atrium so we have that to be the left atrium so that is a function of the um pulmonary vein now ix is the so we have ix as the the superior vena cover so the superior vena cover here the function of it is that it transports so it transports deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood it transport deoxygenated blood so from the heart to all parts of the body now x here 
is what we call the pulmonary artery and its function is that it carries so it carries or um, transport it carries or transport deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood to the to the lungs so that is a function for each one of them all right so the ii says that explain briefly why the left lower part of the heart has a thicker muscle so the left lower part of the heart has a thicker muscle why now this is because now the heart needs to pump blood to all parts of the body in doing that it the lower the left lower part of the heart has to has to have a thicker muscle because it needs to pump blood to all parts of the body at a very high pressure because the higher the pressure the more it has to be thicker in order for it to transport the blood to all parts of the body or pump the blood to all parts of the body so in writing this you can write that now because the left lower part of the heart so this is because the left lower part of the heart pumps blood to all parts of the body at a higher force so it can either be a force or pressure all right now the iii says that state two ways by which the flow of blood to and from the mammalian heart as shown in the figure 1a can be kept at acceptable levels how can we keep the heart at acceptable levels when the blood is flowing to and fro from the mammalian heart so there are many ways to do that but the question is we should mention two of it so one you can do regular exercise so regular exercise will help to uh, the blood to flow through the heart or to all parts of the body another thing is that we have to also heat LD so eating a lot of fruits and veggies so vegetables um you can also write that um two regular checkups yes go for regular checkups in the hospital and then um you can also say that we need to um you know taking medications taking medications also um avoid eating food with higher cholesterol level so we must also avoid eating food with high cholesterol yes and then you must also avoid taking tobacco and then those things you can add that one to to it now the last passage is that name two parts of the heart whose oxygenated blood can be found so you realize that when we're writing the um the functions you see we said i carries oxygenated blood and in the same way um i i also carries oxygenated blood but if you look at the whole heart now the part that we can find oxygenated blood uh basically the so we can find it at i i which is the left atrium here and then the v here which is the left ventricle they are the part that actually carries the oxygenated blood or where we can find the oxygenated blood so in this case we are not going to write um left atrium and then left ventricle so we are just going to state it this way that it is um so you can write it this way that it is i i i and then probably right to your left or trim there and then iv the reason why we're writing ii and iv is because the question is saying that uh, the question didn't ask for us to label the parts so we are basically we are still using the i the roman numerals so in that case when you are answering the question you must use the roman numerals and then probably write the name beside it so iv is just the um so v sorry v v which is the left ventricle here so we have the left ventricle 
so they carries the ox uh, the oxygenated blood um in the mammalian heart all right so thank you very much for joining me in this video i'll see you guys in the next video if you are new here please like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime we post a new video thank you very much and i'll see you guys in the next practical section